You okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna put a little blue sheet on you. So take that, open it up a little bit. All right, guys, we're getting ready to start an auxiliary abscess on a young patient. She's been having pain for several days. Um, she came to the office today, um, and we had an ultrasound done. We showed uh, solid and cystic component in that area. So um, we're going to just drain it today, burn some antibiotics to see how she does. Okay. All right, dear, we're going to start some numbing medicine, okay? Mm -hmm. Stick in a burn. Good job. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. The burning will go away in a couple minutes. So we have two drips on her. One is the one sticky drip in the bar, white poking through the blue drip, and this blue drip to cover up the, her body to keep the area completely sterile. I don't think we need to go to the hospital for this small abscess um, it's big enough to cause her severe pain so that her arm is getting a little stiff and she can't move her arm around still doing okay mm -hmm. let us know if it hurts to bother you okay Still good? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, this pus is squirting out of there. Okay, we're going to culture this and send it to lab for testing. And you'll feel a whole lot better after this, dear. Oh, yes. You okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of pus in there, honey. You can squeeze the pus out of there. There's so much pus. Feeling any better? Mm -hmm. So all this pus and pressure will be gone. You're gonna feel a whole lot better. So because of this skin and this area is very tightly comparted or in very tight compartments, having any kind of pus or abscess and sudden increase in the size the volume cause a lot of pressure. And it hurts. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. Almost done, sweetie. Almost done. I think we had infected sebaceous cyst, sweetie. I'm gonna send it for pathology. I think you had a cyst in there, honey, that got infected. Does it hurt here? What I'm doing? Uh, a little bit. Okay. So this is, which if you see, um, this is kind of like infected sebaceous cyst. I think she had a sebaceous cyst that got infected. This is the wall of the sebaceous cyst uh, that caused all this infection. So I'm going to give her some more numbing medicine over here to see if we can clean this out a little bit more. How are we doing?
Still doing okay? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to clean out the wall of the cyst as much as possible because it's already ruptured in there and the pus and everything. So there's a chance the sebaceous cyst could come back again. Looks like cyst. Um, doesn't look like uh, much of it. So. You're doing great, you're a brave girl. Okay, all right, all right, you're done. You're done, all right. Okay. Looks pretty clean now inside. All right. My first dressing is usually beta line soap gauze and after that we change it to regular saline soap or dry gauze depending how it looks like. The first time the pegging is really tight so if there's any oozing or stuff it can stop but after that it gets much easier. So here we go guys we're just about done with this case you know we drain the axillary abscess from infected sebaceous cyst and under local anesthesia and she has done very well and we're just about finishing the procedure and she can go home after this eat and drink and put her some antibiotics.